got them. <laughs> got the picture. See, you got the stripes. That's an eating one. That's an eating baby. Oh, another one. <laughs> my, oh my gosh. <laughs> Two of them. Two big guys. He's the perfect size. I think I Oh. Well, we thought we were going to make fish cakes with those white trout we caught, but we ate them the first two days, and the last day we figured we'd catch a bunch and have fresh ones to make the fish cakes, but we didn't catch that many. But we did catch those drum fish, and Joyce decided to make something with the drum fish. Well, we're going to have black drums stuffed with crab meat and baked in a creamy white sauce. So for that recipe, I'm going to give you the ingredients that you're going to need. First, of course, you're going to need, these are two, we chose to take the thinner fillets because this is easier to stuff and then you're going to need one cup of uh, crab meat one and a half tablespoons of fine chopped celery a half a teaspoon of sweet red pepper half a te teaspoon of old bay an eighth teaspoon of white pepper one and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise eighth cup of milk and one slice of bread for the sauce you're going to need two and a half tablespoons of butter one and a quarter cups of milk, two and a half tablespoons of flour, one and a half tablespoons of the sweet red pepper, one teaspoon of fine minced garlic, one slice of bread toasted to make breadcrumbs, or if you have breadcrumbs already made, you can use those, and a butter to grease your uh, baking pan. What I did here is I toasted a piece of bread and got a fairly dark. You don't want to make sure you don't burn it because then it's, it's really nasty. Then I took it over and I cut it up and put it in the chopper and made um, breadcrumbs out of that. The other slice of bread, I'm going to slice the crust off of it. And just set that aside. Then take that in a bowl and take an eighth of a cup of the milk. Pour that in there and let that soak up like that. Just smush it in there. Make it nice and just let it soak. And it's all mushy like that. Next, you're going to take your crab meat. Put that in there. Take the mayonnaise. Put that in there. So that's crab meat we got in the Swanee River on the mm -hmm. way home. They were right? nice meaty and crabs. They were really, yeah, full of meat. That's just a no. That's just a little bit of the crabs we picked. Right. Take your Old Bay, your uh, white pepper, and stick in there. And your celery. And you might want to just sprinkle a little bit of salt in there. Just get in there with your hands and mix that all up. What to do is the bread's going to hold the um, crab together. There's nice pieces of white meat in there. Look at that. Yeah. There's chunks. Oh, yeah, they were packed with yeah, meat. They were just unbelievable. Yeah. You can see how it's holding together really nice. Mm -hmm. So you set that aside. The next step is you're going to melt your butter. Put it on low. Put the two tablespoons in, in the frying pan. pretty much melted. Now you're, gonna, now you're gonna dump in your peppers and your garlic. Now you're gonna cook these for about three minutes. Garlic smell again. It does. That's a good smell. Mm -hmm. 
I always like it when you make something with garlic. Okay, the three minutes is almost up. So what you're going to do is remove this from the stove and just pour in your flour and stir that in. Turn it back to the burner. Turn it up. Now you're slowly going to add the milk. And just keep stirring until the flour is all dissolved in there. So this is the sauce that goes on top? Yeah, this is going to go on top and also on the bottom of the uh, baking dish. You want to cook this around a medium heat. And just slowly add the milk till you get a nice thick sauce. And it's going to start bubbling. It's almost done. Just a little bit more. Just don't want to get too hot. You don't want to scorch on the bottom of your um, pan. Just a little bit more. What I'm going to do is taste that to see if we need salt in there. You're going to let this cook like that for about a minute. Let it bubble. And salt. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit in there. Probably take about an eighth, eighth to a quarter teaspoon of salt. Well, they can do it. You to taste it, right? Yeah, taste it to you. Some people like salty food. Yeah, we don't like salty food. Right. Just add the remainder of that milk. Just leave a little bit. I don't want to get it too thin. And this is just about done. Here's how you want it, just like that. That's it. Close off the pan. And let that cook for a minute. I'm going to taste it one more time. I'll rinse the spoon off. Perfect. That is done. You're going to set that aside. You're going to take about... About that much butter. Stick it in the pan, or not the pan, a uh, baking dish, and just smear that around in here. This is so the fish won't stick to the bottom. Well, next, just pat your fish dry. And you're going to put it in your um, baking dish. I think I might do, and I sprinkle some garlic powder. We we're, we like garlic, so you don't have to do this, but this makes it good sometimes. And maybe a little bit extra old bay in there. Your next step is you're going to put your crab meat in there. About half of that into each fillet. 
just divide it up in half, about a half a cup each in there. Stick that on the bigger end. I'm just going to roll this up like so. Crab meat in there. That's nice. Mm hmm. That's <laughs> a lot of crab meat. <laughs> this actually, if it wasn't, we could actually, if it was a mother filet, it actually would do. Uh, Easily do three. Yeah. Probably four. It would do four, yeah. Like, like you would get in a restaurant, you wouldn't get that much crab meat in, in a stuffed fish. Let me grab some toothpicks and we'll pull that together. Let me just stick that in there. Hold it. Now you're going to take your sauce, stir it up, and you're just going to pour that over top, like so. And just let it ooze down into the baking dish. You might want to separate them a little bit so they cook even. Take that little bit of milk and just pour it in the bottom of the pan. Take your breadcrumbs, just sprinkle that on there. Well, I poured that little bit of milk in there, it was about, it wasn't very much, but you want to just incorporate that incorporate that into the um, sauce that's in there and it gets it a little bit runnier. This way it creates a little bit of steam in there and it won't burn. Now you're going to bake this in a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's what you want it to look like when you get it put it in the oven. You'll see the sauce just rolling around a little bit in there. And you're gonna it put looks in, good. It smells good. It's not even cooked yet. Nope. And you slip that in there and I'll let it go 15 minutes and then check it and it easier. Sometimes it's 15 to 20 minutes depending on the thickness. So I know that's done. Well, they smell wonderful. Well, Joy says black stuffed drum fish really looks good. Smells and, good too. Yeah, it does smell good. And today was also bread baking day. And when we were in Mississippi, it was the beginning of Mardi Gras, and they had king cakes all over where you could buy them, and Joyce decided to make her own king cake, so we got that to go with it tonight. So what do we have here, Joyce? We have uh, black drum stuffed with uh, blue crab meat and baked in a creamy white sauce, uh, buttered carrots, and string beans. You going to try a piece? That's yeah, probably going to be real See hot in there. Good? A piece of that meat. Yeah, look at that drum fish. Well, that's a nice looking meat. It is. That was just that a is, perfect size fish to great. eat. Mm. Good? Real good. Got a, nice, got a nice texture to it. So if you enjoy our videos, 
we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching.